Would you like to make a beautiful gift for a friend that loves journaling? Keep watching! Hello everyone, my name is Tina, I am the designer and co-founder of Victoria Designs. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a very beautiful boxy style envelope that can hold journaling cards. Now journaling cards or journal cards are cards where you can jot down little memories or little things that happened during the day. So later on you can keep them as they are or you can incorporate them in your scrapbook or journal. In this tutorial I use journaling cards from our shop but you can find many free online. Just type free printable journaling cards into Google or Pinterest and you'll end up with many possibilities. Journaling cards come in all shapes and sizes but two sizes are more generally used. First is the ADC size, the artist trading card size, that's two and a half inch by three and a half inch and the next size is four inch by three inch and I made these gift envelope box templates for both sizes and you can find the description, no no you can find the link in the description you can't find the description in the link. You can find the link in the description. And now let's get started. So I printed my cards on 300 grams paper. That's really heavy. My printer isn't made to be fed this thick paper, but I do it all the time and it's still alive. I made one set of these cards already. I'm going to make a second set so that I have a thick packet to give as a gift. And my cards, I'm just going to cut them out. Now that I have cut out all my cards and because I used heavy paper, they're nice and sturdy. I'm going to round the corners with a simple round cor corner punch like this. I'm quite happy with this one, but this is a brand that you can get mainly in Europe, I think. For my American friends, I will put a link below for a high rated corner punch that you can get there. So now I have two sets of cards, so that's 16 cards in total. It is approximately a quarter of an inch thick and that's about six millimeter. And now I'm going to make a very beautiful envelope. I used 300 grams of paper again. Sorry printer. I print a nice paper on top from our nautical papers line, but you can, you can use uh, pre-printed paper from the craft store, it doesn't matter. And I printed the ADC card envelope template on the back. The PDF that you download also includes, next to this one, an envelope that holds uh, four by three inch journal cards. Now let's cut this out. Clearly I can't do this with my trimmer, so I'm going to use my trusty scissors. Obviously you're going to cut off a lot here. Don't throw it away, especially if you've printed on heavy paper like this. I have a bin and I always put my offcuts in there and I'm also always rummaging in there for little pieces that I need. You see, only the middle part will be used and these borders are fabulous. So I'm going to cut them off anyway. save these for later. I cut out the envelope templates and I'm going to round these corners also for a professional finished look. Like that. Two, three and four. And I made sure these corners are 90 degrees too. So I'm going to round, round them to this and like this. That immediately looks a lot better. And now I'm going to score those lines. If you use a scoreboard, a bit of a warning, because if you use very heavy cardstock like I did, um, make sure you're not going to slide away. So you have to put a bit more pressure on there, but make sure you don't slide away. I'm not sure why I'm moving my envelope around all the time, because these lines are exactly 
quarter of an inch apart, so I can just leave it as, as they are. There, perfect. No moving. And then fold the lines. Now, normally, I would use my bone folder for this, but I'm not going to use that right now because this is such a heavy paper. I'm afraid that I will ruin it if I go over there with my uh, bone folder too hard. So I'm go just going to use my fingers and my thumb. It's more gentle. There. If I take my stack of journaling cards, put them in there, it fits like a friggin' glove. And you can actually just tie a ribbon around here. I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to make a string closure. So let's get these out for a bit. This is one of the off cuts I had in my bin. I'm taking a half an inch circle punch. It's again from the European brand. I think it's European. But for those who don't have a half an inch circle punch yet, I'll put, oh, here they are. I'll put the link below for a very good one too. Now, let's see where I want these. So the top flap will be over the bottom flap. And I want my thingy about here. So, yeah, here is where my hole should go. I'm gonna use a hole punch. Right here. I'm going to put my other hole at the same distance from this edge as this one. A six eighths of an inch. Another six eighths of an inch. Here is where my hole, I want my hole. Obviously, I'm not going to reach there with my punch, also not on this one. So for only this hole, I'm going to use my awl. Very handy instrument. Just poke a hole in it and it's ready. I'm going to make holes in these little circles. If you want to find the center without measuring on this one for eyeballing, just first find the center on top. And then turn it sideways and look that these pieces are about the same too and they're not. So I'm going to move that around like this. This is center two. Click and I, now I hope it is perfectly centered. And I'm very happy with that. Now to easily have the center in the next circle too, I'm just laying the one with the hole on top and I'm finding the same spot. There, two circles with a hole in the center. I'm gonna take two mini brads, put the brads in, open the legs, and then the same here. Like this. Put in your cards. And to close it, I just like to go around the brads in a simple pattern like this. So what a pretty gift is this. Okay, everyone, I hope you really appreciate this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and see you next time. We're giving these crafting printables away to those who subscribe to our newsletter. Here's how. Click on the subscribe link below, click on the button I want this now and fill in your information. When you've done that, simply click submit. You'll receive an email with a confirmation link. Click that link and moments later you'll receive another email with a download link for your freebies.